Hello and welcome back to D&D with High School Students, Season 5. We're all at the table here, including everybody. And in case this is your first time watching this show, you have some catching up to do. So, on my left are these two characters. And we'll begin with Harris. Hey, I'm playing, I'm Harris. I'm playing Florian Meadow. He's a, he's a funny little guy. He's a satyr monk. Uh, That's all. He's having, Josh. He's having a great time. I am Occam, the Leonin Totem Barbarian. Fantastic. Across the table, we have Melon. Hi, uh, I'm Ellen, and I play Winifred Virch, the Seder Grave Cleric. And then back at the table, we have Kat. Hi, I'm Kat. I'm playing Lark Othello. Um, I am a warlock shifter. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to mention one, one of the... <laughs> One of the subscribers on the channel commented that when I did tried to do Lark's voice, it sounded like Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Which is valid. One of the people on the... Who is also valid. It was an old comedy with Robin Williams. I've uh -huh. seen it. I've seen Mrs. Doubtfire. Fire. He dressed up as like a, oh, a, a nanny? nice British old... Oh, yeah, uh, like yeah, yeah. It's one of those nanny. movies where like when you go back to it, you're like, ooh, they probably couldn't make that joke today, ooh. but it's still really funny. Yeah, but it, it's... I know what you're yes. talking about now, a, yeah. A wholesome family film, mm -hmm. ahead of its time, if you will. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, we left off where you guys had re-entered the mysterious forest in an attempt to find refuge with Sibylla. Along the way, you stumbled upon a rather archaeological site, if you will. Um, and by that, I mean you stumbled upon a site where there were multiple buildings, in what might have seemed like a sort of settlement or village kind of configuration. And uh, it looked as if these buildings had been there for a really long time because they were completely covered in soil and time. You guys found some trinkets. Trinkets? Perhaps trinkets. some items of value, perhaps items that are not of value per se, but perhaps also historical value. You went and uh, alas, you, you came upon a friend of Sibylla's, a centaur who led you to Sibylla's meadow and the tree. You guys uh, were greeted by Sibylla. You enjoyed some fine rest and food, and you shared some of the things that you had acquired since your last meeting with Sibylla, including your rings of elemental questionality and um, your black orb of also questionable use and purpose. So um, Sibylla's reaction to that particular thing was one of concern and fright. Um, she elaborated that uh, she felt like the the rings that the rest of you guys had were special, it had special enchantments, and that you, to fully understand them, you needed to attune to them. Mechanically speaking, this means more than one attunement. So um, but you were learning also through Sibylla that each of those elemental rings uh, grants you a certain degree of enhancement to any magic that utilizes that specific element. Um, you didn't get a lot of insight about your black orb, other than it was not a, a, a nice thing, that it was a thing of evil, bad, and that she scary. warned you not to touch it. I trust it. With your bare skin. I've already done that. <laughs> then you guys pulled out some other stuff that you had found in, in the archaeological site, which included what? A dragon egg. A dragon egg, yeah. Uh, ancient maps and documents. An ancient map, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> An ancient Yay! map? An ancient map. Mm, good huh? luck. I An can't read the, the, the lots are making... Yes, well, it's ancient, so it's it ancient. should be hard it's to hard design. Right, 2020, come on. Why'd you do pencil? DM tip, it's, it's fun to <laughs> to create maps <laughs> <laughs> and, and uh, to use oh, them as props. I got it, 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 I got it. As you guys looked at this I'm map, you also, didn't you also find some writing? Yes, we found yes. some documents. Yes, you found some, like, journals. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And. Yeah. Right it's at like, the end of the episode, like. you notice that the writing, though you weren't able to decipher it because it wasn't in a language that you knew, that script matched what Sibylla had been writing in her very no, own journal, which is, I believe, where we left off. Because when he said, oh, is that your journal? And then that's where we left off. Uh -huh. So here we are. You're in the treehouse. Sibylla uh, 
still has her journal open. <coughs> the ink is still drying. She sets the quill down. And she says, the script that you have found in these journals, it is indeed in a, an ancient language, one which I am perhaps only one of a few people on this continent who could decipher. Well, Does the wizard also speak? He does. He speaks it, and he knows its script. These journals, and she starts to look through the journals that you guys had, had shared, presumably. Mm -hmm. She kind of reads through, and this takes like 20 minutes, but she kind of reads through. And, and in essence, she summarizes that these were the journals of people um, and kind of like their daily lives. Like, one of them was just like a journal of like, uh, a person and kind of an account of his life and his family. Another was like sort of like a business ledger of of like their their mining operation, and, um, and it seems to be just kind of a record of the daily lives of some of these people who have been mining? in the settlement. That's a great question. She, in reading that part, she says, "I am not certain, but I believe." I know from where these came. There are a few references to specific landmarks, specific mountain ranges. I believe that you may have found a settlement that may have once been part of the western coast of Arakazin. <laughs> she says, Arakazin was the continent which was my home long ago. Huh? No need to roll. None uh -huh. of you have ever heard of Arakazin. Did you move? In fact, none of you <laughs> even remember hearing about any other continents other than Caminos. <coughs> no sense of anything outside of this continent What's that you're a continent? on. What's a continent? It is a very large island, much like where we are now, but oh. Arakazin would have been significantly larger than Caminos. Mm. Perhaps. How many days to like walk 20 across? 20 times larger. Well, why don't we go there? That sounds great. I mean, if you're from there. That'll be fun. You can roll an insight check now, Winifred Birch. Why did you leave? Mm. Yeah. She. Twenty-three. Okay. You see sadness. Oh. She like looks down at the table. Is that is does that have something to do with like the oh we're all damned to like die or something? The dragon. The dragon. Huh? She says I. The left and she looks to you and then looks to you and she says it it was my choice but it was not an easy choice it was a it was a sacrifice for the greater good for those who remain on Arakazine I I don't understand you had to leave for the greater good for the people of the bigger version of Kaminos. 20 is a lot. 20 is a big number. Oh, was that what you were doing? Were you counting? I was counting. Oh. What, 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 why would you leave? What, what made you leave? She says, the person who you saw, the wizard, the oracle. Mm-hmm. He goes by many names, but we both came from Arakazin. In our time, there was a there was a great darkness that swept over Arakazin and threatened to do much worse. Armies perished, whole peoples perished. 
it seemed as though the darkness would extinguish all that was light. It's pretty dark. It's yeah. a big shadow. Gotta be pretty so, big to me. Like, why did you have to leave then? That, we can't see in the dark? There became known an opportunity to defeat the darkness. Oh. But to do so would require a great sacrifice by many. The wizard and I were chosen to be a part of a very important ritual. Like which would banish the darkness and the evil. Wait, did but you? in so doing, we had to sacrifice ourselves. Uh. We thought that this would mean our lives. But we later came to understand that we too would be banished. Wait, did you see all the way like the... Um, cause like, Wait. Because like, aren't there like seven dragons or something? Isn't it like, was it Zama, the big dragon? Isn't that like... If you got banished, Do we also yeah, get do, banished? How do we get here? Maybe like our ancestors? I, I was born here. I wasn't banished. I know that. I might have been born banished. here. If it's another continent, then it still exists, right? I do not know, Larko Fellow. Well, can't I cannot you? see past the veil of Caminos. Oh. He can't swim. It is quite dangerous to try to leave Caminos. That's fine. I like In it. In any here. direction, there is doom. Doom. Not a, not a big fan of What doom. if we just got like a really big boat? And like, and I've been on something boat. hits the boat, it's too big. I've never says, been on a boat. The mm-hmm. things which guard the waters surrounding Caminos are much larger than any ship created okay. by any Camina. And then, yeah. like, yeah. But, like, what? Okay, because, like, I feel like we're talking about this where it's like everyone on this island's like, damned or something like what happened like i don't feel very damned. i don't feel very damn at the damn. moment like is like is it just because there's like a dragon here that it got like all sealed off or something like she says no no winifred birch okay it is not through any fault of yours that you are here it is simply by your being that you are here there was a great price that was paid by more than just me and the wizard. Racism. Wait, so wait, did you... <laughs> that <laughs> racism. price is racism. <laughs> yeah, so wait, oh wait, is it like, is it like you banish the great evil here to Caminos? Yes. Oh, come on. That's not nice. Many, many also came here when the ritual was completed. What, what do I Most ask? Most of them died. Wait, so where's if, the shadow now? Some of yes, them. Yes, if there's the great evil here, where uh-huh. is it? What is it? She says, there are, there's not just one great evil. There are 11. Oh. oh. <laughs> Why? Why Which would you? 11? Is the orb one? She right. says, Say she the orb says Winifred Birch, are you not a student of it's religious just, lore? Um, no, actually. Um, so I don't really know why I'm a cleric or anything. I just kind of woke up one day and then Birch started talking to me. I don't, like, I mean, I know some of the gods. I don't really know all the names, what they do. So like, no, not really. She says, not many who live on Caminos know of the Eleven. Truth be told, I do not even know of all of their locations. Aren't there Eleven gods? Wait, are there? I only know one. Wait, are there Eleven gods? Are we chilling with the gods here? What, what classifies as a god? I don't know. Are you a god? I am not. Wait, are there eleven gods? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I roll history <laughs> or religion? Sure, you can roll religion or Slay. history, depending yeah. on which you roll, you'll get a different answer. Natural twenty 18. for what? <gasps> Arcana. Uh, what's it, history. You history. take your pick. Let's go. Hit. Mm, Florian. 
Well, let's go to religion. It's a natural 20, but if we're using bonuses, that's a 19. Um, 25... Religion hist- or history? history. Hmm. 18 okay. religion. Okay. All right, sufficient. So here's what you guys collectively know. From a religious standpoint, the Kamina worship one god. Who is that? Sincarone. Death. The god of death. And yeah. fate. And destiny. Wait, the Kamina are, are those everyone on Kaminos, or is it just like humans? The Kamina are the humans yeah. of Kaminos. <clears throat> they worship one god. Okay. According to their religious dogma, there are no other gods. History. You guys are fairly certain that you've come in your own lifetime to identify other creatures who you, not creatures, other beings that you feel were divine. Are you not familiar with this? Did you not learn about any other divine beings? Mm-hmm. You Gnog, we have whatever your other name for. Yes. Hi. You feel like Gnog might in fact be a divine being. Have you ever mentioned Gnog to anyone? Sibylla. All and, of us. And what did she say about Gnog? I got a... I think she said it was an old name or something. Old name I haven't heard in a while. That's what it was. All right. So you didn't dig any further. Okay. What about you? I got a 25 on history. Uh-huh. Well, I don't care about the role. Oh. I'm saying you. Uh-huh. What did your character learn? I've learned about Taik. Taik. Uh-huh. Okay, so all of you who have either had personal, your characters have had personal experiences with what you consider to be divinity. With my, like, Fengari background, would I know any specific god that, yes. like, my people? The Fengari, and only the Fengari, believe that there's another god besides just... Sinkarone. What's its name? I told you its name. Yasek Hogue. Yas. <laughs> How do you spell that? Yasek, Y A S I K. Huh? Hogue, H O O G. That's. Now, you've heard um, that perhaps other species may revere other forms of divinity. But amongst, shall we say, the humanoids, that's all you know of as being divine. Hmm. To answer your original question, Sibylla says, there are not 11 gods. Oh. There are no gods on Caminos. The gods do not hear us here. Oh. We gotta be louder then, right? <laughs> When you wanted like a rock and you were talking to one of them, or what's so yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure I've talked so to God like, before. At least one of them. I talked to God. <laughs> so then, like, if there's no gods, is it like big scary monsters? Like, are they just like really strong dudes? Like, can I become? No, I don't want to. Never mind. <laughs> she says it is curious that your understanding of death is not tied by faith to sink or own. Nope. You do not feel like you have communicated with your your divinity? Not really. I mean, I've tried to pray like a couple times. It kind of just nothing happens. I don't know. It's weird. People are like, oh, wait a year, Clark, oh, you worship God. I'm like, I don't really know what you're talking about. I oh. talk to Rock sometimes. Hey, Sabilla. Do you think, uh, so I can do this thing where I can, like, slow how fast I fall. Do you think that counts as wind magic? In a manner of speaking, I'm certain it does. Awesome. She says the eleven are. She talks like an eight ball. <laughs> <laughs> she says the the eleven are are not gods, but they are beings of extraordinary power, all of whom were banished. They cannot leave Caminos. 
Are you one of them? I am not. Is she lying? Make an insight check. I, 16. I believe, I believe. I believe her, yeah. 15. You feel like she's not lying okay. when you asked if she's one of the 11. Wisdom characters believe her. So is she, I. She oh, says sorry. the 11 are each in their own way consumed by what you could most easily define as evil. Some of them are pure chaos, rampaging, destroying, consuming. Some of them are more cunning, deceptive, biding their time, amassing their influence and power. But all of them, regardless of their location or what they are, their intent is evil. That's no good. I think that's quite bad. I'm not a fan of that. What 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 flavor of evil are we talking about? Because you can't taste the evil. Yeah, you can. Do you still have the orb on she you? She says yeah. you went to Nero Stema. Yeah. Yeah, we found the bad guys. And in Nero wow. Stema, you were able to defeat creatures which came from the sea to attack the, the mm -hmm. city. Uh huh. That's the ones. One sec. She says that was a small taste of the power which dwells just off the coast of that port city. Hmm. Well, that's, that, that didn't answer my question. That ain't good. There is a creature of enormous size and capacity which dwells off the eastern coast of Narostema. It is so large that if it desired to, it could swim to Narostema and smash the entire city and flood it in a massive tidal wave. But it cannot because the crowned bishop maintains something which prevents it from doing so. So wait, are these things just like walking around? They're just like here? Some of them swim. Quite a few of them are aquatic. Well, some of them walk too. Some of them fly as well. Uh, the dragon. Do oh. any of them dig? Yes. Uh, is the dragon one of them? Can't go down. Or is that something else? You've spoken of this dragon. Yeah. Uh huh. He's you were told by. Me. You were told by a fire genasi child. Mm -hmm. You were warned of the dragon. Yeah. Uh huh. And it used a name. Zamar. Zamar. He says, "I do not think that this is a proper name." I think to the Fire Genasi people, Zamai is simply the word for dragon. For there are many dragons. There is one of particular significance, one which, if awoken, could be the doom of Caminos. Mm. He is Vishap, the Dread. Ugh. He is an ancient red dragon. All right. But he dwells far to the north of here, on the islands north of the continent. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he will awaken. He will attack and consume anyone living in the northernmost part of the continent. But then he will return to his lair and sleep. I do not think this Genasi was referring to Vishap, though. Aww. There's 12 now? No. Vishap Aww. is one of the 11. Oh. Well, well, Zama is like a 12. Never mind. There's two dragons now. No, there's she more. Says, yeah. Yeah. She says, there was a dragon who took the name of Zmai. 
eons ago. Uh -oh. She an eon. would be mm. ancient as well. She was the mate of Bishop. She is not on Caminos. I know this to be a fact. I don't know. I do know. All right. She was banished elsewhere for a reason. And then you notice that her eyes look at your map. Like, as she tells you this, her eyes drift over to the map. Where do her eyes look? Just at the map. Just at the map? I do appreciate the mystique and all, but you could just say the reason. The reason? For why she was banished. Well, you see, Lark. Two ancient red <laughs> dragons together. Oh, right. Unstoppable. When, t when a mommy dragon loves a daddy dragon. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I, just, I just look at the dragon egg. Where'd this come from? Why is this here? It is possible that that egg came from a clutch laid by Zmai. If you found it with these other things, yeah, it was like on that someone's means desk. that it came here when the banishment happened. Okay. <coughs> and but how she is long not ago on was Caminos. that? Well, what dragon are we putting asleep? When you ask how long ago that was, she's. She says, I do not know. So, wait, so wait, wait, wait. It was very long ago. But also, time does not work on Caminos as it does elsewhere. Huh? Wait, I'm so, so wait, if we're, cause our whole thing is like, we're trying to banish Zuma, so that you know, Ohiro doesn't get lit on fire and destroyed like we saw that like vision lady doing. So, so what dragon are we trying to banish now? Because there's another red dragon. There is another one that's gonna like destroy Ohiro if we don't go talk to your wizard boyfriend, like in the mountains. She says, I do not know. I don't know. I said we go talk to the wizard. What knows. dragon they were referring to? Is there any way that like, cause, we'll cause dragons, cause don't dragons have like what magic is? and stuff? Are they like mystical? Yes. Mm -hmm. The older they are, the larger and more powerful they become. Could she, could she like get mad and break whatever like weird seal you put on the island and like come and get angry because you like stole her husband? Not by herself. If she had help? What if she had a brood? It is perhaps possible for her to come here, but not possible for her to bring Vishop out. Hmm. Is this she gonna says, hatch? on occasion, <laughs> new peoples and new creatures, sometimes monsters, can be summoned to Caminos, but none leave. Hmm. Huh. All right. Is this, is this here ain't gonna hatch at all? Because that was down there for a real long time. It is unlikely, uh -huh. unless it was by some means incubated. This would require a significant amount of energy, of, of the hottest fiery energy. Uh, Mr. Allen. That lark twists her fire yeah. ring. <laughs> there a volcano on this continent. Yes. Yeah. Great. How difficult would it be to acquire some sort of device or magic item that makes me immune to fire? <laughs> um, 
I mean, just blow hard up. That is definitely a possibility. Sure. Just blow the, the volcano out for a little bit. Just yeah, stick blow the in there. And then run on out. <laughs> wait for Tanky <laughs> Bay. And then Do you think, think I can outrun an erupting volcano? Yes. I think I could. You're a monk. Of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could just. But the egg's made of like, stone. Yeah. It's pretty durable. Pretty durable. I think I could just. I believe whoosh, it. Yeah. Or check just it run. In. Check it in. <laughs> Astro arms. <laughs> Yeet. Yeah. Are you asking her about this? No. Oh. <laughs> that's why I, I just wanted to make sure. Why, hypothetically, that's if, why I, I, said, Mr. if Al. I threw a dragon egg into a volcano. <laughs> okay, so you don't you don't specifically Energy. ask her about this. Yeah. Can we just put it outside? <laughs> like the sun does its thing? No, it would require a significant amount of concentrated heat. Hmm. So then, a lens. She says you would not want to hatch that egg. You know that. Well, we could be buddies. No. Like little dragon Why? besties. It is, she says, your taming of your small friend. Yeah, Vermont. Vermont. Yes. Taming is a strong word. I think it's more of a your cooperation, friend. right? Yes. A friendship. Yes. We're friends. This. This operates based out of a, a, a gradual process, I'm sure, that you've taken and building trust with the creature and, and feeding yeah. it, mm -hmm. presumably. Kind of. This could work with this hatchling dragon, but in time, the dragon would develop its own intelligence, its own cunning, far beyond the mental capacity. And she looks at Vermont. Well, nobody wants to like kill their mama. A spectre. A spectre. Oh, no, that's not true. A spectre has very animals. limited no, intelligence. Mm. Dragons are like human smart. Are they? Yeah, more so even. I she think, says yeah. some people feel that wow. dragons are smarter than any mortal. I didn't know yeah. that. I thought they were just big wizards. No, they like talk and stuff. They talk? Yeah, they know like common. Wait, oh. Mark, can I just tell the dragon? Hatchling not to kill me. <laughs> I mean, we're friends. No? I know how that works. She says, I suppose anything is possible. So? You asked about other dragons. I will tell you of the ones that I know. Ones? That's a lot of dragons. Well, we're talking to one. Well, that's a lot of people we can talk to then. I guess. I have already told you of Bishop the Dread. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. an ancient red. Though I do not think, as I mentioned, that he is here in the southern portion of the continent. I would be extraordinarily surprised if he came here. I do not think it's even possible, truth be told. But that doesn't mean that there are not other dangers. There is a creature which is not a pure dragon, but a hydra. And it is not just a hydra. Its scales are made of iron. The iron hydra. Yes, it is an iron scale hydra. It dwells to the northeast of Kaminos, which again is very far from here. It dwells on islands and in the water. Its name is Mob Ka. Mob Ka is a creature of destructive power. Is that one of the eleven? Yes, Mob Ka is one of the eleven. Is it like really big? Like it is significant in size. Right. How many heads does it have? I do not heads? know, for I have not been near it. Yeah, what? Hydras have like, like... Hydras have like four or five heads, I think. Yes. Oh, I thought... Okay, that's what you meant. The one that is not too far from here... Too far. ...is Emrys. She is a younger green dragon. She dwells to the west. 
Have you heard of the small village of Agroptimata? No. Nope. That's a big word. Maybe? It is to the northwest of Ohiro. Yeah. And you've gone along the coast, but instead of coming east, you've gone west. Perhaps you would have come across Agroptimata. It continues to thrive despite periodic attacks from Empress. But they regularly lose many of their livestock and many of the lives of the Kamina and other denizens who live there. That's no good. That's, that's pretty bad. Yeah. She says, those are dragons and a hydra to be feared. To be certain, dangerous, deadly, destructive forces. Far to the north, there is a mountain range called Voria Vuna. And there dwells a creature that is not a pure dragon. But it is nonetheless, perhaps among the most deadly of the eleven. A fearsome creature who fortunately for this continent, has remained asleep since the banishment. Its name is unknown to me, but it is a Tarrasque. Uh-huh. Well, I don't know, I'm supposed to be stupid. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> A what? Tarrasque is a creature of incredible size, larger even than the great red dragon, Bishop. Mm. It is not winged. It dwells on land. But it is, big. some say, the size of a mountain itself. Not winged. Its that? hide is so <laughs> thick that no <coughs> weapon can pierce it. That's bad. It does not suffer damage from fire or lightning, acid, any form of attack against it is futile. The only thing which keeps it from destroying the continent is that it remains in a deep sleep. Did you put it to sleep or is it just taking a nap? I did not. Did someone put it to sleep? The great titan, Thamelio, what? maintains its sleep. Wait, 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 wait. I love the great Who? titan, Thamelio. Who a is the great? Oh, Titan. Well, I'm hoping that I'm hoping that Tarrasque is having some good dreams. A Titan is a giant. A giant. What is his name? Thoralia. Thamelio. 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 He is a guardian. Were it not for him, the Tarrasque could awaken. Is he the eleven or is he not? Thamelio is not one of okay. the eleven. He is a guardian. He's a force of good. Ooh. He's a protector. Is he like on the island? He is. Oh. How tall is he? I would say that he is nearly the size of my tree. Oh. How tall is your tree again? 100 feet. Okay. That's, that's How, tall. Are we at the top right now? This is out of character. Are we at the top right now? Or are we like. You're, yeah, there? like. You're in the tree. We're in the canopy. Now let's see. Huh. Well, that's very concerning. Um, yeah. She says, you still seek to warn the wizard. Yep. Yeah, probably. That's, that's the plan, I think. Uh-huh. Maybe you know something like more specifics? Well, we want to find them to like, what was it, Azoria? Yeah? Look for the Azoria! The dragon. Oh, Azoria! Yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. Azor the dragon. Occam says that in the entire room just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he can like get the dragon by a hero. Hopefully. Hopefully. So. So far, we have Vishop the Dread, 
Yeah. Mob car, Emrys, and unknown to me. What? Where are the rest? Well, the, 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 rest? The, the, the unknown one's the Tarasque. But right. There's he Ganag. says the Kraken. The uh, Kraken is the creature which uh, uh, Ganag's one of them. Which rules mm-hmm. the the waters to the east of Nerostema. Uh, Ganag and Sinkaron were, were both. Ganag is not one of the eleven. Oh, okay. Ganag is an old god. Ah. He is the god of the Goot. Uh huh. <laughs> they are a people of Arakazine. <laughs> Why are you so good? G-H-U-T. Oh, you're a goop man now. <laughs> Mr. Goot. Wow. That's fantastic. Am I a goop? <laughs> she says no, but that weapon is goot forged. It's goodish. Good word. <laughs> it's good. She says, as are those rings. Oh. Uh. Now what about the? I bring up the organ. Like I, I think when he's still fully touching it with like her normal finger, she's like, "Is this good?" I'm gonna poke this... Winnie with a stick. No. Oh, okay. That is a but tear. No way. A tear? Is it? Some know them as tears. To hmm. others, they are called godstones. Uh, what does that mean? She says, it would take a lifetime to explain this to you, so I'm going to give you the simple version. All right. Once there were many gods. All right. There was also strife. Okay. Some of the gods went against others. Okay. And in this time, there was great strife, not simply in the heavens, but here upon the planet. A certain portion of those who serve the gods. Celestial beings were banished from the heavens. And it is said that some of the gods wept at this banishment, for it was as if their children were being taken away. Hmm. And it is said that their tears landed all over the planet. Some small like that. Some much greater in size. Oh. Huh. Well. She says, I know that there are a few. The crowned bishop possesses a water stone of sizable proportions embedded in his crown. Oh, are they like different? Like Yours is not an elemental tear. It is of the void. Well, isn't like the whatever god thing I worship from the void? <laughs> or whatever? Unfortunately, yes. Why, why, why is that, that so unfortunate? He says, void stones do not function in the same way that the other elemental crystals function. Elemental crystals serve the elements to which they are attuned. All right. Void stones serve something that is the absence of elements. In the wrong hands, it can be used for very dangerous means. You must be careful, Winifred Birch. I think Winnie's the right hands. My hands are pretty, fine. I'm pretty confident Winnie is good. Oh, my so fingers. Look at all, this, look at all the, the stitches. I want to use gloves. There is something else. Not. Nah. The void stones are alive. They are a piece of the void. 
Okay. They are, though broken off, connected still. Is the Void Stone still out? She says, and the more one attunes to a Void Stone, the more dangerous it can be, and the more difficult to control. Mm-hmm. As the Void Stone seeks to control the one who wishes mm. to control it. What is the Void? Is it just like a plane? Is it a... Some say that it is a place of existence beyond the heavens, beyond Eos. Hmm. Well, that's not to be a bad thing, per se. I mean, what if there's really smart people there? Who could help us? Is the orb still out? Yeah, I think it's just like a hazard right there. Hi. (laughs) Can you hear me? I doubt it. Oh, I poke it with a stick. (laughs) (laughs) Hmm. She says, you have asked about the Eleven, and I have told you of the ones I know. It is possible that the wizard knows of others. Great. Does he have a name you could give us? I think we just he does it. have a name, I but I cannot it. give it. It oh. is not mine to give. I think we just Did you call, write it just down? Call, I think we just call him, <laughs> no, I think we just call him Mr. Wizard. 20 questions. He says, or she says, it, the knowledge of a true name is a thing of great trust. Oh, it's like Faye. As I have entrusted to you my true name, and would hope that you would never betray that trust. But I cannot entrust to you the name of the wizard. Only he can share his true name with you, if he so chooses. Hey. Okay. How because do I learn the my knowledge true of a true name? name can be used against a person. Oh, that's not good. How do I learn my true name? She says, I do not know if you have a true name, only you can discover that. Your true name may be (laughs) Occam, just as his may be Florian. Are you looking for it, Florian? He's thinking about it. She says, I cannot see beyond (laughs) the flesh that you wear. What? (laughs) Think Think harder, you might hear something. (laughs) <laughs> Bank it. Bank it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, don't, I, don't, I, just, I just hear two people saying different things. <laughs> There's two people. She Maybe says... We're sorry. We're sorry for being silly. You, uh, <laughs> you would seek to rest before embarking to the mountains? Absolutely. Yeah, probably. Probably. Yes. If yeah. you're fine with us staying here. Yeah. Uh-huh. She says, yeah. of course. Thank you. I will, tomorrow, I will lead you out of the forest to, to the very edge, to the valley. Great. All right. Uh, mm-hmm. Before we go to bed or anything, I, I want to try something. Uh, I might want Winnie's help with this because it could be dangerous. What are you doing? Uh, so this tree, this is out of character, has like a big ramp going around it, right? Or Well, it, it looks like basically, yes. I mean, wood, it's all wood. It's all right. natural. Yes. And it, it's, it's basically a series of branches which have been kind of formed into sort of a spiral staircase to ascend. Okay. Uh, like thick vines and, and branches. Cool. I want to go. Okay. I'll probably be fine. Wanna can you go to the bottom of the tree? All right. Give me a second. I'm gonna <laughs> grab my orb. I go to the bottom of the tree. I'm fixing the ring once I see Winnie at the bottom. Hi. Yeah. All right. This is 100 feet tall, right? Mm-hmm. Should be fine. 
Bum, Are you bum, jumping bum, off? Bum, I'm swan diving off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have the ring. I have the ring. He believes. Someone play Freebird. <laughs> <laughs> it's on this playlist. I'm ironic. So, what's your monk slow fall give you? Uh, monk slow fall does the following. I reduce any falling damage I take by five times my monk level. Five times my monk level is 30. Okay, so you're falling effectively 90 feet <clears throat> is the actual damageable distance. So right. that, I think that's 96. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we just watch Florian kill himself. <laughs> no, 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 no. The average damage of that is not higher than 30. Yeah. You're, pro should, you're probably just fine. I should be was fine. He boing swan dive. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What I'm Chinese trying to do. Suddenly get dyed red. What I'm trying to do uh, is I'm trying to tap into the magic of this ring. He'd be so mad. And turn this slow fall into like a glide. Okay. Go ahead. He's trying to fly. He's a flying squirrel, so my boy. Tell me, uh, what is my your boy wisdom? Is uh, my wisdom is plus three. And what level are you? I'm level six. Should be our level six. Okay. Go ahead and make a percentile roll. <laughs> You're concentrating on the ring to basically make this happen, right? Uh, twenty-nine. <laughs> All right. About thirty feet down. You feel like like you're flying through the air, and the, and the the wind is kind of blowing through you. But all of a sudden, the air from below you becomes stronger than your actual weight, and your slow fall becomes a feather fall, Ooh. and you land at the bottom with no damage. Well, that was pretty cool. That works better than it. normally. It like just stops me right before I hit the ground, and it's really scary. Huh. <laughs> All right. Cool. I'm gonna pat the ring and I'm gonna walk back up. <laughs> God, I was praying that you'd roll like a 96. <laughs> Just so I could be like, hmm. So when he's you grow there, away. Damage yes. time. Um, that would have been, oh, that's not even that bad. Would have been 28 damage, so you would have negated Yeah, have first step of the game is Florian killing himself. I did, I did the math, all right? I was certain. <laughs> it was I a okay, calculated go risk. Josh. I see Florian float down to the bottom. <laughs> Don't. When he's still down there. Uh huh. I'm gonna jump after him. <laughs> 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 Wait, are you trying to, to like point break this and fly out and jump onto him? No, no, I'm trying to jump out. Like once he's down there. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. When he's down there, I'm also gonna jump off. And he's using his ring to like slow his fall up the air. I want to try to bounce off the ground. <laughs> okay, so you're trying to concentrate to make the ground bouncy Ooh. into. Yes. Okay. I don't know. I think Winnie's to gonna this. look up at Occam go. Um, give me a second. What's your? <laughs> oh, no. This would not be your wisdom. What's Occam your constitution? Plus three. Kills himself. <laughs> if it's possible. Okay. Uh, and what level are you? Six. All right, go ahead and roll percentile. Let's go, Alan. If it's possible. <laughs> What'd you get, like? 94. 94. I would like to raid before I hit the ground. Mr. Allen. <laughs> it goes from a, ah, ah. <laughs> Mr. Allen, is it possible for Florian to use the air ring to try to slow Occam's descent? No, but it'd be funny if I hit the ground really hard. Um, it is possible, <laughs> stand by. Okay. So. I'd like to rage before I hit the ground. Approximately your, six seconds. Your rage happens because you realize that whatever is happening, <laughs> you see the earth coming at you and you see them looking up and you're, they're like, what? <laughs> but nothing seems to be happening with the ground because they're standing on it and it seems very solid and you're like, oh! so it's like a panic rage. Yeah. Um, you're going to need to take 29 bludgeoning damage, so you only take 15 because 15. you right, are... I'm fine. Oof. Yeah, isn't, isn't the meat, like, are you <laughs> talking about the one with Kratos <laughs> jumping off? <laughs> <laughs> isn't that, well, that's Dream On, right? <laughs> There's literally like that so, video and then like someone did the calculations just, just for barbarians to be able to survive in, <laughs> I'm going to be putting out a video soon that will explain why I'm changing falling damage to a D10 instead of a D6. <laughs> because there's no, 
freaking law way. of physics that should allow you to live so, after you fall 100 feet. It's Go ahead. What if I'm really big too. and strong? Yeah. So, really <laughs> what if you, <laughs> what if you, what if you punch the ground it? as you land? No. This is the again just, fall this is again just proof that 5D is, is broken. Is 20, Go ahead. It's 20 v 6 normally. Yeah. Whenever I run a game, I did some math and found terminal velocity. Uh, for D6s, and it's like 150 D6, <laughs> I use that instead, and it's way funnier. Holy See? shit. All right, All right so, so you... What am I rolling to try to get him to slope? Okay, I am going to try to slope that one. I want to try to reduce... Oh, you, you're, you're serious. You I'm actually want to use I, the I want, I want to try to make... Okay, go ahead. Do I roll percentiles? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> ten. Okay, you don't take any damage. <laughs> just before you hit the ground. Just before you hit the ground. Florian kind of does this, and you feel a pocket of air kind of catch you, and then you slow fall like the last 10 feet. <laughs> Sabella's sitting in her kitchen, she hears Florian go back, and Florian goes, Wee! and then she's like, oh, that's nice, so like, <laughs> No, Sabella has, she's like cleaning up from the soup that she made, and like putting away the kettle, and yeah, she's she she is not paying any attention to <laughs> your activities. Oh, I'm going to put actually while all three of you did that, Lark Othello, mm -hmm. jump. It's just you <laughs> and Sibylla, and she says, "Why did you leave your people?" <laughs> Funny enough, topic of conversation. I was banished. By who? <laughs> the tribe leader at the time. I don't know if he's mm, still living. Make a wisdom saving throw. DC 15. <laughs> no way her DC is only 15. <laughs> okay. She's holding back. She's holding back. Mm, that's <laughs> Go 13. easy. Go easy. <laughs> you, as you're explaining this, you have a flashback again to your youth. And you see your father the chieftain of the tribe, explaining to everyone why you had to be banished. And you see your uncle fighting against him, arguing against him. Oh yeah, off the rock. She says, but it is not because of your nature. It is not because of the beast that you were banished. No, most of them are also. Then why? I don't know. You made a pact. Did you not? I did. With whom is your pact? I have told you my true name, Lark Othello. I have placed great trust in you, and I have shared many things, mysteries, with you and your coterie. I don't know who my patron is. We have never discussed this. That's valid. Yeah. Me when what me gifts when. does your pact give you? What powers do you possess? Fish in nature? I don't know exactly. Um, I can make people afraid of me or charmed by me. I can summon a unfortunately, un unfortunately, <laughs> an unfortunately malicious little guy. <laughs> <laughs> You've never done this Which before. I do not prefer to do. Um, it's allowed me to cast magic, which most of my tribe does not do. Or they are previous afraid of it. Ex-tribe. They are afraid of arcane magic. Yes. Because the Fangari are a people who originated in Arakazin. They know what dangers arcane magic holds. This is why it is prohibited in your tribe. I think this is ironic. Fingari are in nature like part magic or something, considering we can change forms. Like, I don't know if we're half Kamina or we're just meant to be that way, but I feel like that's magic of some sort, which is just hypocritical. She 
she nods. She says, I cannot see your true name, Larka fellow. But perhaps you will find it. She says, I do think that I know your people. Personally, or just, you know, of them? I know of them, and I know from from who they originated. Your people are travelers. Even before Caminos, they, they traveled, perhaps more than any other people. Their souls drive them to explore. And you too are curious. Perhaps your curiosity is driven by this ancestry which you possess. She says, well, it is getting late. You, you hear your friends starting to like <laughs> climb back up the stairs now. Halfway through this conversation, there was a, oh. Yeah, there's like random <laughs> there, there, there. outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Occam, Occam's like high-fiving Florian. Um, the, the, uh, as she's like, she's like saying that she's like finishing cleaning up and she says, it is late and I will retire now to my chambers. When your friends return, can choose places where you will feel most comfortable. Thank you. She nods and kind of like shuffles off over to her little her little room that's like on the exterior of the kitchen. You guys return, you get up to kind of the main kitchen living space, and then as you may remember, there's all those kind of little alcove private rooms with like soft branches that you can like just Part and, and go in and hammock. Yes. Well, it's, it's it's like a like a tree, like a branch hammock. Branch. It's hammock. very comfortable. Perfect. So all of you, Top I assume, bunk. unless you decide to do a random other thing, all of you uh, get a nice long rest. You sleep. You feel very rested. You regain all spell slots and all any lost hit points. And uh, the next morning you awaken and uh, she has prepared a, a, a nice light breakfast. Uh, there's like a whole bunch of like fruits and vegetables and like several loaves of freshly baked bread. She, nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Yeah, so she welcomes you to the table. You guys enjoy some, some breakfast foods and then she says, are you ready then to embark? Absolutely. Think so. Yeah, I think so. She says, I will should, allow me to we, get my walking stick. Do you think we should leave all this uh, stuff we brought here, the dragon egg and the papers? I don't think... She says, that is your choice, Florian Meadow. You are the finder of those things. If you wish to keep that map, <laughs> then you may do so. <laughs> she just Florian. struck like a the rock smolder pose. <laughs> the people's eyebrow. <laughs> no, you just want... <laughs> She's thinking. She or says, perhaps, yeah. don't eat it. Perhaps Maybe that what? map will be of interest I to think the we wizard. Keep the map. Oh, yeah. I want yeah. the egg. Let's, yeah, you let's want keep the it. Egg? Let's keep it. Let's show it to the wizard. I think that if that egg falls into the wrong hands by accident, we could be we in a. We eat it. We eat it. Load of trouble. Load of breakfast. Yeah. If we're going to eat it, let's eat it now. Why no. we're, we're not Black? hungry. Because there's a chance. I'm right. I, Black, I can find a, a baby Connecticut. Oh, Connecticut? That's a fun name for I a pet. If this dragon. egg gets stolen and someone we'll else catches it, we'll steal it back. I no, will say I told you so. We'll steal it back. It's we'll fine. We'll probably be dead. How do I steal you something? Be dead. All right. Huh? Okay. How do I steal something? Well, you know how, like, I have my hat? If you took my hat without me wanting you to take my hat, that's stealing my hat. No! <laughs> so I just need to know who's carrying the map. When his eyes grow eight sizes. I'll take the map. Okay. I'll just, like, 
Who's carrying the egg? <laughs> makes your eyes. Are you guys, away. other than the egg and the map, are you taking any of the other trinkets that you found? The ring. The rings. Um, well, we have like assorted orb, trinkets we didn't show. The orb We have like assorted. We have like assorted trinkets we didn't show Sibylla that we still have. Mm -hmm. I got Rupert the Devil. <laughs> the Rupert the Devil statue. Rupert. Rupert. <laughs> my man. My man. My main man. My top guy. I want my hat. <laughs> Florian, do I get my hat back? Oh yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> I throw it on your head like a frisbee. Oh. Well, I think it hits her horns and falls, <laughs> and she picks it up. She uh, returns uh, with a like a, a kind of a wool cloak, you know, to keep her warm. And she's got her her large like walking staff. And she says, "Shall we begin then?" Yep. Yep. Yeah. And she says, "Very well." And she kind of starts leading the way. You guys leave the little meadow that is around her tree and begin walking into the deeper forest. Um, the, the air is kind of cool. It's morning. There's like a light fog in the forest. Um, Vermont has chosen to kind of walk and follow along with you. And after about a half mile of that, he is like, hmm. And he just climbs up and backpacks on you instead. And she leads you through the forest. You guys are kind of marking through. Uh, each of you make a perception check. Twenty-four. Nineteen. Seventeen. Four. Uh, no, sixteen. <laughs> sixteen. Four dumbest people in my car. Twenty-four <laughs> is high enough. Yep. Yeah. Um, this is like an hour into the, the walk and, and you are walking through an area that just has a lot of big trees and some fallen old trees that are, you know, covered in, in, in like mushrooms and, you know, uh, rot. Yeah. Just moss, mm -hmm. like damp, you know, like, like moss it. and stuff. Like it. And, and you think you see something. At first you're like, oh, it's a tree stump, and then you're like, no, nah, that's not a tree stump. But you see something like kind of 20 feet off the path that looks sort of circular like a tree stump, and it's covered in like green moss, and there's like mulch all around it. But then it doesn't look like wood. It looks like stone. So Vela, is that like a stone tree? I think I'm like peering over. She stops and turns, and she says, what is that, dear? Like the, the, the stone thing over there. Is it like a house? She walks over towards it. I'm gonna walk with her. Likewise. She kind of like uses her walking stick to kind of brush away some of the stuff and, and kind of brushes off like a clump of moss. And indeed, you now see that this is stone. Not like a rock or a boulder, but like a ring made of stone. Almost like a well. Oh, okay. Is it like elevated or is it like a fairy it's, ring? It's like barely off of the ground. But okay. she looks down in it. She says, that is curious. I do not remember this one. Somebody down there? I can check. <laughs> she, she reaches down and picks up a stone and looks at the stone. And then it becomes light. And she tosses it down. And she looks down there. It would seem that perhaps this is an ancient building. Like under us? Yes. How wide across is the well? Archaeology uh, day too? It's, it's about three feet I in diameter. In I could fit in there. Like if you, if you wanted to go in there, it would be kind of snug, but like you could fit in there. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I don't have a harder time. But. I think you underestimate how teeny tiny we are. I don't <laughs> want to make any assumptions, but it would be awfully convenient if there were one of the eleven down there the whole time. She says, "No, dear. The eleven cannot be in the forest." Florian, oh, right. Florian's a little guy. Florian's a little guy. He's small. He's very. He's. I'm he's, a little lady. <laughs> Florian's going to try to uh, go down the well. Do you have dark vision? I mean, there is a 
coin, There's or not, sorry, I'm a stone follow, I'm follow the that stone. is the light cantrip down there. I don't have dark vision, I'm following the stone. Okay. I'm gonna, wait, how far of a fall is it? it it's not even a fall. It's like 15 feet down. Oh, all right. I'm gonna, all right, I'll see y'all in a second. I'm gonna jump after four and I'm gonna cast <laughs> daylight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> There's the whole spell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you go down first. You find yourself at the yeah. bottom of a stone. Uh, basically, you figure that this is some kind of chimney. But unlike the other ones, it was not, like, filled with detritus. Like, there's not, like, dirt and leaves and mulch and crap that's fallen in here. This is somehow still empty. Right. And you find yourself emerging into a room. Ooh. Similar to... The cottages in terms of size, not not more than like 20 by 20. Um, but there's a difference. This one is also furnished. This one has a table, this one has a chairs, this this one has cupboards. And just just adjacent to you as you step out of the fireplace, you see a stack of wood, like freshly cut. And you see like all the accoutrements of a kitchen and you see a big pot of stew, and it's still warm. Is there a door? Are there people? You don't see any people in there. You see one bed. You see a dresser. You see a I table taste. with one chair. I taste the stew. Is there like a- It's still warm, not, not hot, okay? But like imagine maybe if like you made some soup and it like two hours ago, you is know? It good? It is. Is there like a door that leads? It. And some like some like carrots and potatoes and some other herbs. Is there like a door that leads out? No, there's a door. But you also are aware that you're 15 feet underground. I'm gonna go open the door. Okay, you try to open it oh. and make a athletics check. I'm wait, gonna give myself just, guidance. Wait, that's just dirt. Huh? I, I think that's just dirt. No, it's a door. <laughs> hey, Florian, can you come help me? That's a three. Well, I don't know if I, I think that... You're strong. You got your arms. But there's just dirt behind that. What if there is What is it? What did you find? It's like a here? house. Someone... With, uh, soup. Someone lived here recently. There's soup. Like pretty recent. Like this warm soup. Survival check. And also, if you have survival, survival check. I'm going to go... Sure, I, I don't have survival. Should I door. make the check? Sure. Uh, guidance. Florence is gonna activate astral arms, and they're just gonna. Seven. I'm just gonna pull. Athletics check. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the guidance so far. It's a nat one though. The door is not. <laughs> I just want to be clear. The door is not, like, it's it's not locked. <laughs> oh, I just... Uh, well, no, no, we were trying to pull it open. It's like uh, stuck. No, it's not a pull open. It's a open out. Oh, oh we've been pulling in the whole time. Been, no, you try oh, pushing out, it's, oh. it ain't going anywhere. Like, there's clearly it's two what you ones. assume is just a mountain of dirt in front of it. Like, can I get down here, or is the... Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're, I'm you're gonna jump a down. fairly reasonably sized. There's like a, the giant full of light in this, in the middle of this room, It's like right? up so by the ceiling So you see, as now. I described, you were in effectively a cottage, but it looks like this one has been kept up, and the door is maybe made of like newer wood and it's reinforced. Whatever used to be a window is just like wooden shutters. Um, you do see some evidence of like dampness around the bottom of the door and around the where the window was. Mm. But other than that, it seems to be relatively clean and lived in. There's soup. You you find like in in the the cupboard are like dried vegetables and some some like jars of like what you pres you know are preserves like preserved fruits. Um, you, you see some like dried grains, like oats and barley and, and wheat. You Is see some like, tools. Like a uh, paper, anything to write on? Uh, no. There is a table, which is where you found the, the you know, the soup and, yeah. um, um, and, and like I'm I said, there's like kind of built-in cupboards with kitchen stuff. Does anyone have any paper? I'm gonna put my hand yeah. against the door mm -hmm. and cast Eldritch Blast. <laughs> oh, Mark, okay. there's oh, nothing. Oh, okay. Okay, wait. There's dirt behind the door. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. 
Elder Scrolls can only target creatures. Yeah, it's true. Lock, lock, there, there's, there's just like dirt behind the door. Do they get in and out through the chimney? Probably. It would appear to be the only means of egress. I'm a, I'm a, wait, can I have some paper? Oh, oh come yeah. On. You go. I'm gonna write on this paper We're, and put it on the with table. You. He's like looking down the hole oh, curiously. You can use that, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, this game you can shove as a bonus action. <laughs> Continue. Uh, I'm gonna, in like, in like a scrawling. I rolled a four for too, so. So, in like a scrawling, very uneven handwriting, Florian's gonna write in all three languages he knows, common, elvish, and sylvan, nice house <laughs> on the piece of paper. I'm just gonna leave it on the table. Someone would say, I don't think we should take anything. That's fair. I'm gonna jump up the chimney. I'm gonna take one of the flowers off my hat, put it there. Oh, yeah, hope it's same. not poisonous. We're fucking um, Goldilocks in the bear's house the right thing. now. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> this I bed is just right. Eight feet straight up, and then grab the top yeah. of the chimney with my astral arms and just pull up. Okay. I'm gonna take a sip of the soup and then. It tastes good. Jump out. I'm, I'll, I'll help. I'm All helping right. How up. how how high you can to, you jump? You to add a d8. I know, but how uh, high is it? I think it's strength plus height. <laughs> I'm help. There's a giant. There's a hand that's ten. When feet he jumps feet. ten feet in the air, <laughs> with the mirthful leap. Okay. Nice. I'm gonna jump up with Florian. That's fair. Goat jeans. That's strong legs. Yeah. Why do, why do you guys have jeans on? <laughs> <laughs> Cause they look good. <laughs> Every she says, "Well, we left them a note." Mm -hmm. I suppose it is time to. Do I see footprints around here? Ah, well, that's why I had you make a survival check. You, you don't. No, nothing. No. Hmm. Can I actively make a perception check to look for any like well-walked trails that have been through here, other than the one that we're on? Like beyond just this immediate area? Yes, you can. Make a survival I, check. I would also roll a survival check, I think. 14. 12. 18? 14. Oh, 14. 15? You, uh, maybe about 50 feet away, you find like a deer path, basically. Sibylla, you recognize this one? I'll gesture to it. She says, they look like the tracks of deer. They are not uncommon here. Do you think a deer lives in that house? I do not. It's a nice house for a deer. Yeah. If I was a deer, I'd want to live there. Can I get a good old whiff of the area? Do I smell deer and or maybe anything else other than deer? Well, you smelled deer when you went, oh. Yeah, no, you don't. All right. <laughs> do I smell man? <laughs> I smell people. I'm going, I think we should continue on the path of math. Leonin, like Paladin, where it's like that divine sense, like, do I smell fey, fiend, celestial, undead within 60 feet? Tell me now! Do I get a whiff? Do I get a whiff? <laughs> we continue, yeah. It's really fun, actually. I like um, that. Okay, so, you guys proceed several hours later. Well into the afternoon, in you arrive time. at the edge, the western edge of the forest. And you kind of appear, and you see the familiar landscape of kind of that valley, and then, you know, a half mile away, you, you see the, the beginning of the mountains rise. And she stops. Thanks, Sibylla. That was, that was very nice of you. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I hope you have a wonderful day in your very nice treehouse. Uh, we're gonna go talk to the wizard. Do you want us to tell him anything? Yeah. Since you guys are like friends, or? She says, would you? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, sure. She reaches into her bag and pulls out some stuff. She takes her quill, dips it in some ink begins writing something on a piece of parchment. She lets the ink dry. She folds it over. I can take it. 
<laughs> oh. She hands it to Lark. Okay. You're gonna read that. Lark is gonna be the language you can't read. <laughs> she says. I hope to see you again, my friends. Yeah, I mean. I I do too. Yeah. Know that the mountains are dangerous. I think we're I mean, we've survived this long. We're pretty tired. And the forest. And, and the arrow stable. I think we can And the goat this. man. And the goat the, man. I forgot yeah. about the yeah, goat the man. Goat I still man. have one of his legs. Was, oh. that, was, that, a, was that what a goat is? Are they like goat feet? Like, not um, like us. Like more. She says, no, there are no goat here. Oh. Do they look like Camille? Do the they look like you? The goat would not have been banished. Oh. Oh. But Whoever possessed that weapon must have been an honored person. Okay. For the goot, I have his do not journal. Give their <laughs> crafts. Oh, do you have his journal? She says, I'm sorry, what? I have his journal. May I see it? Yeah, sure, you can have it. I, I can't read it. <laughs> well, what does it she, say? What's his name? She opens it up and begins kind of like looking through it. I had that. <laughs> 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 the <laughs> just oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh. She's like, <gasps> no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what does it say? You were canonic the whole time. <gasps> oh. She says, I. What? I knew this man. Whoa. Oh. I'm sorry. He was one of the warriors who fought in the final nights. He was one of the unfortunates who was brought here when the ritual was completed. Uh -huh. Not because of any sin that he had committed, but because of his proximity. He helped to protect the ritual from the darkness so that it could be completed. Oh. And like me, his sacrifice brought him here. I did not know that he had died. Uh. I'm sorry. She says, may I keep this? Yeah, yeah. sure. I don't need it. I can't read it. Was he a goot? He was not. What do goots look like? He was an Iraqi man. Iraqi. He Rocky. was a soldier. Iraqi. It sounds like Iraqi. <laughs> he made a great sacrifice. Yeah. His name was Hamaris. Hamaris. How do you spell that in common? H A M A R I S. Cool, I can spell. Sure you can. What do goots look like? She okay. says the the goots were a small people. Oh, like halflings? I don't think those exist here. <laughs> I don't think those exist. I had a vision. Were, they came to me in a dream. They are perhaps <laughs> half the size of uh, oh. a Kamina. What they got? Yeah. Wait, our halflings. Fuck up old faces, though. Our halflings a thing in, in this. Uh, in no, no, it came to me in a dream. It came to me in a dream. She says. <coughs> she says they. What happened to the rest of them? <laughs> I believe the goots still reside on a Rakazine. Oh, okay. I meant like their bodies. <laughs> Dude, the Hobbit is an actual. She says they are communist. small. <laughs> yeah. They are small humanoids. It's like how I'm tiny. Oh, so they're just, they're just not like okay. They just little. Okay. They Sorry. have gray skin, much like stone. Gnomes. Deep gnomes. Do we know what gnomes are? We don't. No. <laughs> There's no <laughs> little guys. <laughs> the goot are very old. This, this is the peoples, they are. <laughs> das gut. They are a people who <laughs> are devoted to each other. They share common cause. 
in appreciating the life and prosperity of their people. And there was a time when they interacted more with others, but they, during the time of the Demon Wars, became the more secretive and more reclusive. What are the Demon Wars? I thought, huh? She says, but I think there's a lot of from stuff. time to time throughout history, they have been willing to work with others for the betterment of all of Arrakazine. Cool. What is a demon war? She you kind of just skip past that one. That one there are not enough too. hours or days for me to begin to explain to you the lengthy and ancient history of Arrakazine. Someone okay. rolls up to you go, hey, what's World War It was a time of darkness. <laughs> what's World War And okay. ultimately, the Demon Wars concluded, as I mentioned before, with the Great Banishment. Oh, okay, it's the same thing. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Mm, I understand. Thank okay. you very much, Sabilla. I'm gonna yeah. start walking across Amaris. the path. Huh? Amaris. Amaris? That's a cool name. Where's that walking across? She says, be safe, friends. Okay. You too. You also be safe. Have a good night. She stays at the edge of the forest, <laughs> kind of looking out at you guys as you sort of start to walk down <laughs> into the valley. I think when <laughs> you guys get about a hundred yards away, you kind of look back and she's gone. Um, as you are walking through the valley, you don't need to make a roll, but you all notice something about several hundred yards into your walk. You notice that there are just an incredible amount of tracks. The ogres, Huge yeah. footprints, yeah. smaller, medium-sized boot prints, tracks from wheeled carts and wagons, hooves, uh, and, and all of them seem to be going from north to south. All of them seem to be going in that direction towards Ohiro. Oh. You pass over this area He's going out. and begin to kind of make your way up now on the western side of the valley, heading up towards the foothills. And you find yourself in a pretty familiar area. Um, there's lightly, sparsely kind of populated trees and like scrub brush and kind of stuff. But you start to, to rise up to the foothills and it's a little more of a rocky area. And the first chunk of the foothills don't require any climbing checks or any climbing gears. You just, you kind of start walking uphill through this rocky terrain. You guys walk for another mile, gradually kind of slowly going up hills. And you get to a point where now the mountains are truly much more vertical in nature. Uh, outcroppings exist here and there, but you will need to have some means of climbing. I have climbing gear. Okay. So, Jump. Um, goat. Goat. The goat first out. elevation is is pretty simple. Mm -hmm. I just need one person to make an athletics check, and then you can set the climbing gear up, and everybody else after that does not need to make a roll, and that will kind of get you to the first elevation. Mr. Allen. Yes. We haven't determined this. What would you say Florian is a mountain goat? Um, given your monk powers and movement, you, you have properties that are similar to a mountain goat. Okay. That means he can walk up any slope as you're, long as it's less than 90 degrees. Yeah, you're like a mountain I, I see an 83 Emma. degree slope and just start walking up. Am I also a mountain goat? Guess okay. the worst. <laughs> so, I want to walk up vertical surfaces. Mm, yes. So what was the result of your athletic 22. Track? 22 is more than sufficient. Um, Occam climbs up, kind of free climbs up, sets the spikes, sets the rope, gets to the top, anchors, and all three of you in turn, do-do-do-do-do, you go up, and you get up to the first elevation. 
you're pulling up your rope and your your supplies before kind of moving on and you see that there's sort of sort of like a a little plateau and then like a little more hill that you could just hike up and then another elevation up above that but you realize that you're you're not far from that area that you guys were at previously where you you found Vermont and that like ogre Uber. I think Zorio Ground Zero. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're not right there. I don't no, want to give you that impression. Where it's but you feel like you feel like yeah. you're maybe within a quarter mile of that original okay. spot. Um, so you you kind of pull up your ropes. You kind of start hiking up to the next spot. What's all of your passive perceptions? Sixteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. All right. I don't have the people who percent. have higher than a fifteen. Um, as you're approaching the climb for the next elevation, you hear something kind of above and to the north, above and to the right, basically. You hear like, you know, like rocks kind mm -hmm. of falling, not big rocks, just like, and you see some like rocks kind of scatter from the edge that's above you and to the right. Hmm. There might be a thing up there. There was a thing up there last time. Yeah. Probably another one. There's lots of things. And yeah, we'll throw it off the cliff again. Oh, that's fair. Hello? Oh, before we end, we were whispering. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. Hello? Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you see a head kind of peek huh? over. It's sort of a big head, but you see it kind of peek over. And again, it's about 60 feet up and like 30 feet over from you. And it looks like a mountain goat, or a, like a ram. And it, it's, <laughs> it's looking over at you. Hi. And it's like rah, rah. And it, it sees you wave and it kind of pulls back away from the edge of the cliff. Rude. If we get up to this, this we can is talk another to one of the goat people. I'm gonna be very upset. I think I think if we get up to them, we can I can if we get up to them right then now, you see can... something another oh. head emerge. It seems like it's a few feet over, and you see it a head appear, and it's actually a lion. And the the, the lion looks down at you all. And it does not make a goat noise. It, it looks down at you, and it's like. In Leona, I yell, "Hi!" I cast Speak with Animals. Is as, it a? Li it's like a lion. As you're invoking line? that, it, it backs away. And speak with animals, boys. Hi, we're, we're friendly. We come in peace. I'm a. I, I want to be friends. Do I know what this is? Because I know what this is. But I don't know if Lark knows what this is. <laughs> Oh my then God. another head looks over, <laughs> and this one is a dragon's head. <laughs> and when it opens its mouth, wait, it doesn't wait, make wait, a noise wait. so much as you see like a pilot light of flame inside of its throat. <laughs> oh. And that is where we'll end this episode oh, of D&D right. with high school students. Yeah. I thought you got it immediately and you were no. just playing along. No. I didn't. We hope you've enjoyed like, mm, this massive ahead. lore dump, and we'll be back with an action-packed episode yeah. next time. I Peace out. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello and welcome to Bill Allen World, 
I am Wizzy, the wizard. I'm back once again to remind you to subscribe and click on the notifications button and also watch videos that are over there. Tune in to the next episode of whatever show you are just watching and watch other shows featuring Bill. He made me say that because he's a narcissist. Okay, bye.